So this one, Lone Wolf Cowboy. Yep, another Gold Valley Ranch novel. Will Gold Valley's most reclusive cowboy finally find a reason to heal? As a former EMT and a wildland firefighter, there's no one Jacob Dalton can't rescue, except himself. Since his best friend's tragic death, Jacob has isolated himself until Vanessa Logan returns to Gold Valley. He saved her life during a medical call years ago, and he's never forgotten her. The instant jolt of heat between them takes him by surprise, but he knows that if he gives into it, it would only end disaster. And for Vanessa, returning home was about healing, not about exploring her attraction with Jacob. He is the guardian angel from her past with strong, capable hands and an irresistible mouth, a temptation she knows that she cannot afford until the chemistry between them explodes and unites them, then, unites them in a way they could only never have imagined. Okay. Now, as you notice, there's not too many paper clips in this one because I... It was great story. Don't get me wrong. It's going to be right up there. One of the 20s. Uh, again, on a scale of 1 to 10. So that tells you how much I enjoyed it. Um, but I really enjoyed the message inside the book. Probably better than I did the... Well, I enjoyed the book just as much. But it was just... It was like, wow, it spoke volumes. To anyone who feels like they may might be beyond hope or beyond love, you are precious beyond price. And you are worthy of love. So, we're going to move into the book. Um, there's a lot of control issues between these two. Um, they both want control. They both want to run things. And both of them are running from fear. Fear of this, fear of that. Fear of the past, fear of the future. But it all boils down in the last few pages, and it becomes crystal clear how they need to work things out in order to be together. And, of course, their their relationship was more passionate than not what I would ever want in a relationship to be. Because, to me, if it burns like that, it's going to burn itself out. You know, too much fire burns it out quickly. You have to have a slow build in order to get to that fire, to get to that passion. And... Um, I don't know. I worry about these two in the future. But I will share the pages that I've marked with you. Page 355. Uh, Caleb laughed hollow and bitter. Okay, no, no, no. I start down here. Page 354. She loves you and there isn't an earthly power standing in your way except your own self and you won't take it. That's his brother. The words hit Jacob like a bomb. Ex the pain exploded inside his chest because Caleb was right. The tragedy of death was in his heart and that was left behind and in the possibility of life missed by those who were taken too soon. You're here, Caleb said. You're here and Vanessa loves you. That's a gift. That is a gift that so many men would love or who, so many men who would give a whole hell of a lot more to have. You make it sound so easy. You make it sound like there's nothing to it at all. Caleb laughed hollow and bitter. Well, I'm not the one who's in love, he said, the word sounding dry, but you are. You are, and that means you have a choice to make. Are you going to live like you went over the cliff with Gavin? Are you going to live like you went down in that helicopter, which isn't living at all? Or are, can you li live like these years are a gift, a gift that some people don't get? No, you don't have a guarantee about tomorrow. None of us do. Whether you're with Vanessa or not, something could happen to her and you wouldn't be any happier about it if you weren't married to her because the mat fact of the matter is you love her. You love her already and you damn well know it. Being apart from her is just punishing yourself that much more. Protecting yourself, really. But from what? Maybe from a full spectrum of pain, but the full spectrum of happiness, too. You think a lot about this? Jacob asked heavily. Yeah, J Caleb said, I do. I spend a lot of time looking around at life that Clint left behind. It's a beautiful life, and if you could have something like it, well, I do love her, Jacob said, the words bursting from him, filled with truth as if you'd been avoiding the past for a few weeks. I know you do, Caleb said. Love is strongest thing on earth, and I think it makes everything hurt a lot more. Jacob laughed, and then, but in hollow, humorless, is that supposed to be an endorsement? I don't know, Caleb said. I can't really endorse it one way or the other. Anything that matters is heavy. That's all I know. 
But what is the alternative? The alternative is going through life caring about nothing and not letting it touch you. And I suppose that's when you become Hank Dalton, Jacob said, the happy-go-lucky and hurting people without meaning to because you don't let yourself feel. I expect that's true, Caleb said. We have our own very cautionary tale available to us in the form of our father. And then he has decisions to make. Page 365. Fear. Fear was the theme. Fear was what kept happening from Jacob from her. Fear was what made her father push her away. Fear was was met, kept her from confiding in her parents when she needed them the most. If there was anything bigger barrier to love, to life, than fear, Vanessa didn't know it. Change required accountable, unaccountable bravery, and she knew that because she'd done it. The strength to decide to change patterns of behavior that were ingrained in you, it was hard. It was hard as hell. And it wasn't over, even now. Because she had to change her feelings about her father if she wanted to have a relationship with him. And that meant exposing herself potentially to pain. Pain she didn't want, but there was no other way. There was never any other way except walking around with the armor stripped off and the willingness to take the blows as they came. Because if you didn't, you ended up like Jacob, unable to accept love. Like her father, full of regret because he was paralyzed by fear when he had needed most to be open when he needed most to be brave. And I'm going to let you read a bit on that, give you something to read. Page 371. I'm going to ruin the ending for you, so sorry. Uh, she parked and got out, moving toward him quickly. I need to talk to you, she said. I was on my way to talk to you, he said. She stepped up toward him, so they were both standing on the rock that looked out over the view below. She was so damn pretty, glowing in her yellow dress she wore, her hair loose, curling around her. And he wanted her, wanted her with everything. And Vanessa, he said. But his words failed him, so instead he closed the distance between them, kissed her on the lips, kissed her as the sun, as its last remaining rays shone and lit up beside the lit lit. I can't even talk, lit him up from the inside out. But the warmth wasn't coming from the sun, it was coming from her. I'm so damn sorry, he said roughly. I am so damn sorry that I wasn't ready to be brave as you. Jacob, she whispered. I love you, he said. I love you so damn much, Vanessa. And I, can, I can't even explain the way I feel when I look at you. Like I'm looking at a promise of the rest of my life. I thought that was too beautiful, too dangerous for me to have. But that's just it, sweetheart. It was never about guilt or I didn't, what I didn't deserve. It was about me being afraid, afraid of losing you or wanting something so much, something that I might not be able to hold on to forever. Time scares the hell out of me, and it, does, and it doesn't care. It moves on forward, and there's nothing that I can do to stop it, even when I want to freeze a moment. Well, none of us can. No, she said, no, none of us can. But sometimes time marching on is the best thing ever because if it had stopped, I wouldn't have been able to become the person I am now. We wouldn't be together and we wouldn't be having this baby. We wouldn't be, we wouldn't be in love. That's true, he said in a rough voice, and I want all those things. Time can be a thief, Jacob, and you know that better than most. But time can also give us gifts too. The gift of us, the gift of the future that we'll have together. That word, the future. That was the thing that he'd been avoiding thinking about when he saw her. He saw a future stretched out in front of him, a beautiful and bright, and it didn't even terrify him. It was something he wanted, something he craved. I never believed in fate, he said. I never wanted to, but you. I can't deny that there's something with you and me. I feel it, she said, but I don't think it's fate. I think it's the choices that brought us here to this moment. Mistakes, but some good ones, too. They made us both who we are. They made us... And I can't regret any of that because of the woman I am that now loves the man that you are. Oh, she loves him so much. I don't know why, he said with his voice scraped raw. You don't know why? <clears throat> because you're my hero and it's not because that you were there the night of the miscarriage. It was not because you punched Jared in the face. All those, those will always be the fa favorite and treasured memories for me. It's not because you're perfect or because you've be all, always come through. A hero doesn't stop every bad thing from happening, Jacob, but a hero shows up all the same, even knowing that he can't win every time. And you're a hero to me, my hero. I hurt you, he said. Yes, she replied, you did, but I'm still standing. And now here we are standing here together, and that's what matters. Not being perfect, knowing that we aren't trying anyway, and that's what matters. 
and he looked down at her, this woman who knew that all that he was, all of his failings, all of his fears, and he just saw more of his future reflected back into his eyes. He saw himself in a way he'd never even seen himself before. He had been so alone from the time he was a boy because he had decided to be alone, that isolated better than pain, but not now, not when he could have her, not when he could have everything. I want to marry you, he said, not because you're having a baby, not because I, I like sleeping with you an awful lot, because I want to do whatever I can to do, become close to showing the, what, what I feel in my heart that this is permanent, that this is a part of me, that you're a part of me. I want to marry you too, she said. I was scared at first to let you into my life, to let anyone in my life, because so much of what I built is about control. But I'm not afraid now. I'm not afraid of my feelings, good or bad, because I know what is broken can be healed. I know we can be healed together as long as we choose it. I do and I choose you. I choose you too. And that's where I'm going to let you read the rest because there is an epilogue. So you have to read to find out what happens further. But another Maisie Yates book gets a 20. So she is one of those authors you just cannot ignore. You have to pick up because these books are outstanding. So I'm glad I got to share that with you tonight. What am I reading now? Well, I can't get ready to read the Christmas ones just yet. I'm trying to save those for the day after Thanksgiving. And yes, I have the Christmas book, Maisie Yates, Cowboy Christmas Redemption, which is being saved for the day after Thanksgiving. But the one I have started reading now, which has started off quite um, hot to read Jennifer Ryan Restless Rancher and uh, when I get done there will be a book review no doubt so I had to come to you and tell you these great books you have to pick up and you have to read so there you go stay tuned for some more book reviews in the future I'm going to put these little fancy dancy glasses away because they're my special occasion glasses and I will sing you one song before I go work out.